I'll dim my lights. Here we have two police guns, which I'll try and show you. I'll dim my lights so you can see it. The important thing to note here is this obviously an oscilloscope can pick up virtually anything. Here we set on DC. This means it'll pick up DC signals, which is like your car battery or or uh, I believe Jura cell or what have you, and it'll pick up AC spike signals like the laser guns fire. It's only fire if you don't fire anything else. Um, the poly scans and what have you are very very much the same. Even the even the dragon eye what have you, but it's just the pattern's different. It's the same sort of signal. Sometimes higher or lower voltage, but the same basic signal. So I'll dim the lights. Uh, oh yes, and here you see here we have a photodiode, correctly biased. So I've already tested it, it's working fine. So I'll dim the lights. Now let's see, this is an old um an old marksman speed gun, quite a powerful speed gun. More powerful than the modern ones in fact. So let's have a look at the signal, here we are. Uh, as we see, lovely. I've turned it up and dimmed the lights so you can see it clear. That's a lovely lead out signal. Very powerful, these. The modern guns aren't nearly as powerful. But uh, obviously, these used to run on the car battery or the bike battery with a flex, flexi cord. Um, here we have you know, a slightly more modern lead out gun. This is an ultralight. Uh, also right, one two five hertz. So I'll try and there we go. And as we see, a, low, a lower voltage signal, lower voltage signal, but there's no DC at all. If this was showing DC, it would be showing it. So, but it's not obviously. Now here, a uh, different kettle of fish here, boys and girls. Here we have one of these laser jammer testers, <laughs> so-called testers. He says jokingly. So here we are, this will test uh, numerous signals, as you see, up to 13 in fact. I'll just put it on, um, that was a fairly quick one. I'll put it on number 5, which is a custom pro laser. Right, let's see what it does. Now bear in mind, if this is, if this is shooting out a nice full signal, like these, like these do, it will show you, show us. But as you will see, <laughs> it does not. Now. This is, uh, I'll put it on, I've removed guns, let's put it back on five. That's a nice fast uh, pro laser four, pro laser three. There we go, so on fire now. Now watch what happens, I'm here I'm, what, two feet away. I see we can see no, no pulse signal, so as we go closer and closer, closer, ooh, it's jumping up, it's jumping up, DC signal, there's no pulses there. Can you see any pulses there? None at all, no positive pulses. Sometimes you see a very weak pulse facing downwards, which is no good to a laser jammer, it won't even read it. So your laser jammer tester hasn't tested, you're thinking, well, have I bought a dud? You know, do we need to claim on the warranty? So you go closer and closer, well, it still hasn't tested. I know, hold it right up, so I must be able to see it on the infrared camera. It must trigger then, so we will go bang. There we go, whoa, straight up, straight up to 12 volts, battery voltage. There you go, see you look. And at this stage, this is when your MOSFETs go pop. And if it's a powerful laser, you usually hear the laser go pop. So there, as we say, so this is why they're so dangerous, these damn things. I mean, some of you guys will know, uh, seen my videos before, and they've all been took off, because these guys selling the ALPs, and the uh, Redenso XP, or whatever it is, and the Escorts, are the same people that are selling these shite. Absolute shite. Like I say, I'll put it... and. We know this is a bigger box and slightly different to the ALP and the RB905, but it's it's the same it's the same bloody chip they use in all of them. Well, very similar chip, so it does exactly the same. This is actually tr going to trigger, try and trigger your jammer to a gross, crude IR input. And as we know, laser diodes, they're very precision things. They were only invented in the bloody 60s, 70s. They're not fucking light bulbs. So if you point these things at your jammers, your people say, "Oh, it's because it's because his it's because his jammers don't do anything. He doesn't want you to test them. That's why he's telling you this." No, no, it's not. I test every unit before it goes. I know they work. I know they transmit, and I know they emit. And also, you guys will have seen the whiteout videos being stolen by that forum. You know that forum. Yeah, that forum full of pricks. This is what all these testers do. You're playing Russian roulette. You use one of them shitty little AL or whatever. All of the same. Snooper. This is a snooper one. This is terrible. I think it was exactly the same. 
you know, you're playing Russian roulette, but in your nice little like Tokarov or Colt revolver, you're putting like five shells in, not one. You're playing Russian roulette with five shells. Because the chances, <laughs> the chances are you will destroy any maker jammer, even a three thousand dollar, three and a half thousand dollar stinger. And they think, always, I've had a couple of smart ass saying, well, why don't jammers protect, jammer makers protect themselves? Well, they do. This will never, a lead our gun will never do what these do. Never, because there's no DC signal. Look, look for yourself. No DC signal. I can put it on AC. This is AC, so it'll only pick up AC. Look, AC. So, no DC, direct current. But these friggin' jammer testers all do this. So, if you use a jammer tester of any make, of any model, there's probably, well, it's almost a certainty. It's at least 80% chance you're going to ruin your jammer. And you still won't know if it was working properly when you got it. And it's banned by all jammer makers. Have a look at my website, the top of the page, on the jammer section. It actually says, says I've got a, an excerpt from Blinder Warranty. Click on it yourself, read it yourself. And AOP are just the same. And when a jammer comes back to the manufacturers and it's got a blown MOSFET and blown laser, they're not stupid. They know how you've done it. So just don't use these things, guys. Please don't use them. I mean, I don't give a 